Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. So Power BI has finally released one of the most awaited function called as Network Base. I'm sure you know this, you would have used this in Excel, but in Power BI, this particular function wasn't available. And if you had to calculate the working days, number of working days between two dates, it was a really difficult task and you had to do a lot of other things to get that particular information. However, Power BI has now released that function in the latest update of Power BI. So I'm going to teach you just that. So how to use that and how do you create a measure and a column? So let's get started with this tutorial. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to create a measure. So let's go over here and click on new measure. So once you do that, so let's uh, give it a name over here, working days measure. Okay, so when you cal when you are calculating a measure, you will have to define variable for your order date and ship date. That's what I have in my table over here. I'm going to define a variable and call this as order date is equals to, I'm going to say selected value, selected value, okay, and then type in the order date column over here from my sales table, okay. And then I need a second variable for my ship date. This is the second date which I am calculating. Okay, is equals to selected value. And then this is going to be the ship date. So once you have this, then we need to use the return function. And now over here, I'm gonna use the network days function. Network days, okay. So it has got four arguments, start date, end date weekend and holiday so we'll begin with start date now my start date is going to be the order date which we have just created over here the variable which we just created end date is going to be the ship date variable which which we have created okay so we now we've created both the uh, uh variables which is start date and end date comma and then it's now time for us to enter the weekend by default the the weekend is one okay one when you say one it is uh, saturday and sunday however if you if your organization or if you want to follow a different weekend uh, um, days then you can enter different dates i'm going to tell you in a bit which are the which are which are those dates and which are which is the number that you need to enter over here to change the days for example if your organization is uh is off only on Sunday, then there's a different number which is available. I'll just show you in a bit. And then there is holidays. So for holidays, I have a separate table here with just the dates from the of the holidays that I have over here. And I'm gonna type in holidays over here and then close the bracket here and press enter. So once we do that, uh, we've arrived, we've created a measure. I'm gonna just pull this over here. And these are all my working days with the difference between the, the order date and the ship date, okay? So like I told you, there is a different set of numbers that are available. For example, one is default Saturday and Sunday. If your company is working only on, uh, if your company is off only on Sunday, then you need to enter 11 over here. So go back into the measure over here and type in 11 over here so that it considers only Sunday as the uh, holiday or the weekend day, right? And likewise, there are other, day, other dates as well. If your company is working or off on Monday and Tuesday is the weekend for your company, then you can enter three in over here. Instead of 11, one, you can enter three over here, okay? And then the holiday table, what I have is, I just have one table over here, which contains the dates of all the holidays that I have and you need to mark this column as date and once you enter that particular date uh, in the holiday section over here sorry over here holidays and this will all be considered and you will only get you will the, these dates will also be excluded while calculating the working days between these two dates so now this is how you create a measure and if you have to create a column and you can simply go over here create a new column and call this column as working days column is equals to and here I'm going to type in network days and I can directly enter order date order date comma ship date okay 
and comma and you can enter your weekend over here for me it is saturday and sunday so i'm gonna say one and then if i have any holidays i can enter the holidays uh, if you don't have any holidays or anything for that matter you can simply end the uh, formula or the dax right over here and press enter it is automatically going to take saturday and sunday as the weekend and return the number of working days for us and let's bring in this particular value over here. You will see that we've got the same values over here as well. This is the function which we've been awaiting from Power BI from quite a long and finally it is here. I hope this you find this video or tutorial helpful uh, and you've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.